Good morning. Okay, so I am not Toastmaster Manas. So I'm going to say good evening, Toastmasters and dear guests to the 30th meeting of Speakers Community Toastmasters Club. I am pleased to be your Sergeant at Arms for today's meeting. In the online meeting environment, there are a few instructions that we follow. I request you to rename yourself if you haven't yet. All Toastmasters can prefix TM to your name and guest as guest. I also request all the speakers and role players to prefix the roles to their name so that it's easy to identify them. I believe all of you have done, so I do not have to give any extra time for that. All speakers are requested to do a quick audio and video check before they start their speech. Tech host can confirm on the settings. And also the TMOD will be ensuring that you have an audio and video check before you start your speech. I would request you not to type in the chat box when a speaker is speaking as it disturbs the speaker. You can use a private chat to provide feedback, but I would also urge you to provide feedback on the chat itself once the speaker has completed his or her speech. That will be a good motivation for the speaker. So I would encourage everyone to please give feedback to the speaker or give uh, wishes to the speaker after the speech is done. You are all requested to keep your audio on mute in case you aren't speaking. Please refrain from unnecessary movements or sipping on drinks if your video is on. Please turn off the video in case you need to do so. Do not click on share screen unless your speech or role requires you to do so. You can display a hi-fi or namaste when taking over or leaving from a role. You can connect with the tech master for any technical glitch. The tech master for today's meeting is me, Ankit Das Gupta. If you are a speaker, then please ensure you, you pin the timer or confirm that the same is visible at all times. This meeting has been recorded. In case you have any res reservations, please let me know. You can network at the after this meeting is done during the SCTC networking cafe. Let me share the mission of Toastmasters Club. We provide a supportive and positive learning experience in which members are empowered to develop communication and leadership skills, resulting in greater self-confidence and personal growth. Now, I would like to introduce someone who has already been said as a person who dons many hats. He is our all-time working, but also very talented, a lead data scientist at one of the top pharma companies and our very own Vice President Education. Please put your hands together for our Vice President Education and the presiding officer for today, Toastmaster Sachin Katiar. Sachin, over to you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Distinguished Toastmaster Ankit, for the lovely introduction. Distinguished Toastmaster Ankit is the pillar of our club. He is the reason many of us are actively engaged with the club. He always focuses on the motto to serve others by the plethora of experience he possesses from the last seven years of Toastmaster journey. Thank you so much, to Distinguished Toastmaster Ankit for always being there to resolve our queries and to show us the clear path to become a confident speaker in Toastmasters as well as in professional and personal life. Thank you. First of all, I would, I would like to ask our dear guests to introduce themselves and to tell us how do they get to know about Toastmasters and what are their expectations for the club. Are there any guests? Uh, no, I don't think so, right? We can move forward. Okay. So first of all, okay. With that, I would like you to welcome you all to the 30th meeting of Speakers Community Toastmasters Club. Let me start the meeting with my own personal story that will be in line with the today's theme. I did not introduce the theme as who can do it better than our team or right? but I'll share a glimpse of my personal story related to that. Long back, I was stuck in nine to six corporate job and was struggling to find a way in order to switch the job in AI field. I'm a big fan and also a practitioner of AI. I have worked hard to learn each and every question that interviewer will ask during the interviews. But every single time I failed an interview due to the lack of hands-on experience in the industry. 
these continuous failures had lowered my confidence during the interviews and also because i kept thinking at a particular stage the interviewer is going to ask me something that uh, uh, something some use case or some real time implementation for sure i will not be able to answer that but i never lost the hope and kept myself motivated by learning new technologies and sharpening my skills in ai field one day i got an interview scheduled but on the same day i had one big release of the project that i was working from last one year i was fully tensed and that uh, as i alone have the responsibility of the deploying the project and at the same time i have to give the interview i accepted the interview invitation and thought that i will finish this as soon as possible and will focus on the project deployment but the interview went for 45 minutes and parallelly i was getting call from my manager to check the issues that were coming during the deployment even i was too much uh, even i was too in too much stress i cleared the round with a positive feedback from the interviewer and i got job after that although i came up with a story that why i was not able to pick up the call uh, earlier that managers was doing but that is a different part of the story right main part is when luck comes with your hard work and your skills no matter how worse the conditions is for sure you are going to ace an interview or any exam in your life so i would say luck always luck along with the skills is very important factor to drive us towards success with that allow me to okay one guest puskar has joined hello puskar hi hello hi puskar i uh, so can you introduce yourself and uh, would you like to know uh, tell us that how you get to know about those masters and what are your expectations from the club uh, can you please give me a minute i uh, will connect my earphones yes yeah, sure. lot of turns in background you please continue till that okay it's in another room oh, okay okay no problem <laughs> sorry thank you okay we'll get back to you at the end of the meeting with that allow me to introduce the toastmaster of the day today toastmaster of the day is a very passionate toastmaster who lives in tigboy assam place surrounded by a beautiful scenarios of nature and wildlife i'm sure she is going to make today's meeting in the same delightful manner as the place she lives in on behalf of everyone present in the meeting and with a round of applause i would like to welcome toastmaster of the day toastmaster aarti onto the zoom stage toastmaster aarti the zoom stage is all yours over to you thank you presiding officer sachi uh, for a wonderful introduction uh, good evening fellow toastmasters and guests it is my pleasure to serve as toastmaster of the day today before introducing the theme of the day let me explain the agenda of the meeting for the benefit of the guests toastmasters meetings is generally divided into three session the first session is prepared speech the second session is table topic round and the third session you are on mute you went on mute while explaining the third session oh let me start again wait a minute um thank you presiding officer am i even audible now yes thank you presiding officer for the wonderful introduction good evening fellow toastmasters and guests it is my pleasure to serve you as the toastmaster of the day today before introducing the theme of the day 
let me explain the agenda of the meeting for the benefit of the guests. Toastmasters meeting is generally divided into three sessions. The first session is prepared speech. Second session is table topic round. And the third and last is evaluation session. The theme for today is luck versus skill. What do you say? Work, uh, what do you say work? Luck or skill? Perhaps both. Perhaps just luck. Perhaps just skill. Is skill more important or luck? Here is a story. Do you think it is our story too? There was a camel and her baby. They were chatting. The baby asked the mother, why do we have humps? The mother replied, our humps are for storing water so that we can survive in the desert. Oh, said the kid. And uh, why do we have rounded feet, mother? Because they are meant to help us walk comfortably in the desert. These legs help us move around the sand. All right, but why are our eyelashes so long? At that time, the mother replied, our eyelashes are uh, there to protect us from the dust and sand of the desert. They are our protective covers for eyes. Mother Kemal thought, this calf of mine is very curious, asking many questions. But let's wait. Let me introduce my colleagues in the oasis of desert. That is my tech team. Timer, accounter, and grammarian. A person who is going to monitor our language usage is grammarian Toastmaster Charu. When I asked her a, a question, what is more important, luck or skill? She said, if you have got the right skill, there are high chances that luck will favor you. Toastmaster Charu, please explain your role. Over to you. Hello, good evening, everyone. I would like to greet Toastmaster of the day and my fellow Toastmasters and the guests. They say, grammar is the groundwork of clear communication. Author William Bradshaw once wrote, the better the grammar, the clearer the message, the more likelihood of understanding the message's intent and meaning. As grammarian, it is my responsibility to pay close attention to all the speakers, listening carefully to their language usage. I'll take note of any incorrect usage of grammar as well as any good usage of words, quotes, sayings, or thoughts. As grammarian, it is my duty to introduce you to the word of the day, which is pertinent. It means relevant or appropriate. It can be used in an example. Sylvia has made a few pertinent points concerning children's education. Also, the phrase of the day is, every rose has its thorn. It means everything beautiful or appealing has its own flaws. It can be used in an example such as, Maria tried to explain Jill not to be jealous of her success. Every rose has its thorn. She has sacrificed a lot to reach there. Now, each speaker is encouraged to use word of the day and phrase of the day. I'll give my report when called upon by the general evaluator. Thank you and over to you, Toastmaster of the day. Thank you, Toastmaster Charu. A person who is going to count and report the number of unnecessary sounds in our spoken language is our accounter for today, Toastmaster Sachin. When I asked him what is more important, luck or skill, he said skill is important for day-to-day -day survival where 
whole series of tasks depend on ourselves only but to achieve a particular feat like cracking an exam or interview we need a good luck toastmaster sachin please explain your role over to you zoom master thank you so much toastmaster of the day hello toastmasters and dear guests the purpose of the our counter is to note words and sounds that are used as a crutch or pause filler by anyone who speaks during the meeting i will listen for overused words including and well but so and you know i'll also listen for the filler sounds including a uh, um uh. i'll also note when a speaker repeats a word or phrase such as i i or this means this means at the end of the meeting i'll report the number of times that each speaker used these expressions thank you and over to you to smash of the day thank you to smaster sachin a person who will time the whole meeting is toastmaster dheeraj timer for today when i ask him what is more important luck or skill he said luck is in luck is not in our hand but when acquire we acquire different skills with luck we can directly reach to our aim of life the beauty of life is that happiness comes from the journey to success and not from the destination toastmaster dheeraj please explain your role over to you good evening fellow toastmaster and the guest myself dheeraj singh and i am the timer for the today's session as a timer it's my duty to time the prepared speeches evaluations and the table topic for prepared speeches the timing as per the project requirement for instance for ice breaker it is 4 to 6 minutes for normal speeches it is 5 to 7 minutes and uh, for table topic it's 1 to 2 minutes and uh, for evaluation it's 2 to 3 minutes every speaker is required to meet the minimum specified time so as to qualify for the awards a uh, green card will be shown after the minimum qualifying time a uh, yellow card in between the I mean, in the midpoint of the time and a uh, red card after the uh, maximum qualifying time there is a concept of grace period Uh, there will be grace period uh, for the prepared speeches and for the evaluation uh, that is will be plus minus thirty second that is before the minimum allotted time and after the minimum allotted time for the table topic the grace period will be applicable after the minimum uh, after the maximum allotted time. I will report the timing reports when called upon by the uh, Toastmaster of the day or the general evaluator. Thank you. Over to you, Toastmaster. Thank you, Toastmaster Dheeraj. a person who is going to evaluate the entire meeting is general evaluator distinguished toastmaster santos when i asked him what is more important luck or skill he said in tokyo olympics neeraj chopra threw the javelin and without looking at the position he just celebrates is it overconfidence no is it luck no it is skill and confidence in self now i would like to invite toastmaster santosh to explain his role stage is all yours toastmaster santosh thank you so much toastmaster arthi hi everyone my name is santosh and i am the general evaluator for the meeting once the session is done and i am invited by the toastmaster of the day i'll be coming up with my team of evaluators including the timer a counter grammarian and speech evaluators and i'll be evaluating the entire meeting and also the speeches with the help of them thank you and over to the toastmaster of the day thank you general evaluator now the camel and calf are still Camel and calf are still conversing. Let's wait. Let's listen to our speakers who have moved heaven and earth to prepare their speeches. The first prepared speech speaker is Toastmaster Sunil. It is his icebreaker speech, and his evaluator is Toastmaster Manas. Toastmaster Manas, please explain the objective of Toastmaster Sunil's speech. Zoom master, please spotlight those master manners. Over to you. Master. 
Manas, you're on mute. Okay, right now am I audible? Yes. Yes. Okay, great. So, objective of Toastmaster Sunil speech actually mr sunil is uh, giving that icebreaker speech that objective of this icebreaker speech is to begin speaking in front of the audience by introducing himself to the club and to discover speaking skills that he already have and the ones that need attention and also to learn that basic structure of public speaking so this is the objective of uh, this icebreaker speak. So I wish all the best to Mr. Sunil. Thank you. Over to you, Toastmaster. Thank you, Toastmaster Manas. Our first prepared speech speaker is Toastmaster Sunil. Zoom Master, please spotlight Toastmaster Sunil. Can you see the timer card? Yes. You are audible yeah. uh, and not visible. I'm, am I audible? Yes. Visible? Uh, not visible. Arti is visible. Arti is visible. Okay. okay. Yes. Uh, Toast, Toastmaster Sunil, grinding for success. Grinding for success. Toastmaster Sunil. Uh, good evening, all the uh, colleagues, Toastmasters, and guests. Uh, let me tell you one a very simple story of mine that is grinding for success. It is very much pertinent to pertinent to story of the alchemist book written by uh, the great writer Oilo Coelho. Basically, the story is very much relevant to me. I was reading this book uh, in the year 2014, and uh, I was just correlating it uh, at every actually at every sto story level at uh, every scene, and was recalling the story of mine in 2005 when I left my uh, well-settled job of uh, financial auditor and I started one venture, it's called uh, Dream Point Solution, which was in financial services. And it was hardly actually four months went and I lost the ground, basically. The entire venture failed and I was uh, just went into the debt, huge debt, basically, and that is going to consume my next two years, three years and that much debt actually. Right? in the right time. And uh, while I was actually practicing that services, there are many people who were suggesting me not to do that. Actually. And But again, I tried for it and I failed. And after getting failed, all the social characters, family members, relatives, everybody started uh, their coaching for me. Like they become my life coach, business coach and everything else. They started criticizing me and I was fully nervous and went negative in depressions. Then uh, I was uh, just recalling then uh, that four months back, uh, I was in good job. I was earning very good money and well settled. And uh, similar like the alchemist hero did actually. That why I did this actually. Why I came here and left the job and started the venture. So I was when going to that, uh, uh, the same thing. The alchemist hero was facing in that book. Uh, that the same way he has opted in his story, I opted the same thing. Actually went back to the same employer and asked for the job. Again, I started doing the job of the same financial auditor. And then that uh, is my character, like every uh, group has its own uh, horn. I actually started again planning for the new venture. Then again, the same story started in 2013, then 2017, in both the cases. I actually left my well-settled job and uh, went into uh, the new venture founding and the launching it. Again, I failed in 2030 and then again went to the job, basically, and the grinding for the success was continuing. And then again, I got settled in the job for next two, three years and I left in 2017 and I started the new venture. This time I failed again, actually, third time I failed. But uh, this time I didn't back to the job, I thought. Uh, let's do something else, but we'll not go to the job. So uh, in this process of five to six years, I was uh, learning a lot about the businesses. So I decided to become uh, a business coach, business coach, and start consulting with small businesses. 
and the entrepreneurs and SMB uh, industry. I started coaching and this time I got the first test of the success and I started earning money out of the ventures basically. Then I started creating the teams uh, to succeed in the venture and launch many ventures. So in the last uh, say for five years, actually I have conceptualized more than 10 ventures to uh, say launch in different sectors. Not only that, I already uh, actually have more than 18 CA firms associated with me to uh, say uh, consult their clients in uh, business strategies and shaping the new businesses or uh, say just raising the businesses from uh, say scratch. This grinding process is not actually started in um, uh, in the career. It has been started a long back when I was in school actually. I actually migrated from my native to the Mumbai to continue my schooling. Actually I migrated from the vernacular medium to English medium. When I came here, I started feeling that why I came here. I was good in uh, vernacular medium and I was learning easily. I have a fun in school. Again, I came here, I have to learn the new language. So when I started learning here in eighth standard, I didn't understand the chapters actually for next two, three months. So I started grinding again and learning the English language and then uh, got some success. Now I'm a PG master's and I'm also doing some other executive courses from top leading institutes in India. Currently also I am uh, founded three ventures which are successfully running in technologies. Uh, more than 11 uh, products uh, already developed and we are selling it and not only that also creating a very good team, effective team to actually incubate the upcoming ventures and entrepreneurs. This is what I am and this is the way of uh, my life actually. So, uh, uh, the post master, uh, master of the day, Arthi, I told you whether it's luck or the work, I think it's both. So, it's a luck also required. Even sometimes we do lots of hard, hard work, but we didn't get succeeded. So, this is uh, what I can say about me. Thank you. Thank you, Toastmaster Sunil. A great round of virtual applause for Toastmaster Sunil. That was a wonderful speech. Our second speaker is Toastmaster Kalpana, and the evaluator is to uh, DTM Toastmaster Ankit. I would like to invite Toastmaster Ankit to tell us the objective of Toastmaster Kalpana's speech. Over to you. Thank you, Toastmaster the Day, Toastmaster Arti. Toastmaster Kalpana is attempting level two, project two from the strategic relationship pathway. The speech or the project is cross-cultural understanding. The purpose of the project is for the member to specify, to identify his or her own cultural identities and the stereotypes that impact other, others' perceptions of him or her. Timer, please note the time is five to seven minutes and I wish the speaker all the best. Thank you and over to you, Toastmaster Dari. Thank you, Toastmaster Ankit. Uh, Zoom Master, please spotlight Toastmaster Kalpana. Toastmaster Kalpana, please check your audio and video. Hi, am I here? Okay, I think I'll have to sit. Um... Or you can uh, put the angle a bit more behind if you're okay. standing. All right. Let me just give that a shot. Okay. All right. A bit yes. below uh, because... Yes. Thank you. Yeah. This thing. Can you see the timer card? Yes, I can. Okay. Toastmaster Kalpana. Cultured. Cultured. Toastmaster Kalpana. Thank you, Toastmaster Arti. I was about seven or eight when my mother coaxed me into a chanyacholi and told me we are going to the Shiva temple to pray that you get a rich and a handsome husband. That, I think, was my first introduction to the culture, the customs and beliefs of the country that I was born in. Namaste, Toastmaster of the day, fellow Toastmasters, 
and guests. India is a melting pot of culture. And what does this pot contain? It contains art, craft, superstitions, belief, customs, astrology, astronomy, science, maths, music, dance forms. And it is the birthplace of religions like Hinduism, Sikhism, Buddhism, Jainism. And we have also adapted Christianity as well as Islam. Such a melting pot that if you are in this country, your mantra should be coexistence or no existence. I have always puzzled over since that incident as a child as to what is it that is my custom or my culture. Is religion my lifestyle or is lifestyle my religion? Let me take you through the journey of my own childhood where I gathered the nuances and impressions of what my culture was like. Oh, we Indians love to worship. For anything and everything we love, just run to the God Almighty. My mother used to tell me, obstacles? Chant, Ganpati Bappa, Moria, 108 times. Study. Oh, you got low marks. Take a coconut. Go to the temple. Put it on the pulpit. Crack it open. You'll get wonderful marks. Oh my God, we need to find a room. Oh, don't worry. We have already started it when we were just eight year old. Ah, uh, baby boy. You need to have a baby boy. You know, for that, Adi Shakti. Let's pray to her. Success in business, see, if you're not going to be successful in career, Kalpana, I'm telling you right now, it is all the fault of Lord Shani. You know the Saturn? You just go every Saturday, pour oil on Shani Dev and also on Hanuman. They both are buddies, you know. So what will happen is they both will decide that you should really be fine, well, and successful. When you enter a home, if you find that the home is not peaceful, Go into Gayatri Havan, even Ganpati Puma, anything and everything is fine. You know, everything is solved by our God. Believe me, the sun God, the sunny God, Ma, I protected her. I said, Ma, they are planets. Planets? What planet are you residing on? I said, planet Earth, Ma, planet Earth? That is Dharti Ma. You know, Mother Earth. And, oh, Ma, seriously, you tell me, you are giving me so many instructions. If, I, if accidentally I happen to touch a paper with the feet, you say that is Saraswati, Ma. It is the goddess of learning. If I happen to leave a morsel of food, it is Annapurana, Ma. What does it say? Oh, you cannot waste the grain. Well, that is the truth. And what is this about, you know, the stars and the planets? Hey, that is astronomy. And when I'm talking about your good life, what is astrology? See, astronomy and astrology with the discoveries of India. And you better do your math sum properly, you know. 200 into 30 is 6,000. Never miss a zero. We, the Indians, we the inventors of zero. Please understand that. Oh, my God. I just screamed, shouted, and tried to lie down. Unfortunately, I was facing the North Pole. Get up, said my mom. You cannot face the North Pole. Why not? Oh, Ma, I just do not understand you. Do not buy new shoes on, on, on a Saturday. Wait for a minute when a black cat is crossing. All these are superstitions. Believe me, you tell me not to cut my nails also in the evening. First, get up from that North Pole. Direction that you have laid your head in. I got up. My grandfather heard me. He entered. Katna? Yes, Grandpa? What is this? Radio. How does it play? Oh, Grandpa, the sound waves, it catches the sound waves. Do you see the sound waves? No, you can't see the sound waves, Grandpa. Yes, you can't see even the waves that are coming from the North Pole. All right, listen to your mom. I later discovered my religion also has signs because North Pole does have magnetic fields and it does affect us. Science later proved it. I also realized that the Big Bang theory was correct, as mentioned in my religious texts. Science in religion, religion in science, yet so many things unexplained. 
like the black cat crossing and the shoes. And yes, of course, the things that I really admire are hospitality that we have, the kindness that we have, and the respect to the elders. I am recognized in, by my culture when they look at me if I'm wearing a pindi, if I'm wearing bangles, if I'm wearing jewelry, and if I'm wearing a sari. I went to US to my uncle's house and I came across the European culture. Fascinated, I watched and absorbed that culture. They knew I was from India because of my own identity carriage that I had where I felt everything will be all right if I prayed to God. And as I learned and watched their culture, a part of me realized every culture is good because, believe me, they are broad-minded. They are non-judgmental. They never judge you based on what you are wearing, what you are eating, and what you are speaking, which I find is always there if I'm in India. You have worn Western clothing. Oh my God, she has to be too modern. You worn a sari? Too, too, too rural woman, you know? That no judgments like that. I like the fact that they were helpful because I always found myself walking on the left hand side of the road, road as per my Indian culture. And then I realized I have to move to the right hand side of the road. What will I change in my culture? Female infanticide. I will try that there is no discrimination between boy and the girl. And I will ensure that the caste system is abolished. Let my culture flourish, but without the superstitions. Over to you, Toastmaster of the Day. Thank you, Toastmaster Kalpana. It was a wonderful speech. A great round of virtual applause for Toastmaster Kalpana. The third speaker, prepared speech speaker, is Toastmaster Sai Kumar. And his evaluator is Toastmaster Subramanian. I would like to invite distinguished Toastmaster Subramaniam to read out the objective of Toastmaster Sai Kumar's speech. Submaster, please spotlight Toastmaster Subramaniam. Good evening, everyone. Thank you so much, Toastmaster of the day, uh, Toastmaster Abdi. Our speaker, Sai, is going to present his speech from the path Dynamic Leadership Level 3, Project 1. The project title is Negotiate the Best Outcome, Project Objective Title. The purpose of this project is for the member to learn about different types of negotiations and the strategies that can be used when negotiating. The purpose of this speech is for the member to share one aspect of a past or future negotiation in his or her life. Timer, please note, time is five to seven minutes. All the best, side. Thank you. Zoom master, please spotlight Toastmaster Sai Kumar. Please take your audio and video. Hello, uh, hello, Arti. Am I audible? Yes, you are audible. And yeah, I can see the timer cards. Okay. Toastmaster Sai Kumar. Oh, continue. Oh. You were saying something? Okay, no, I was checking the audio, audio video. Okay, continue, please. Toastmaster Sai Kumar, part of your life, part of your life, Toastmaster Sai Kumar. Bifurcate, terminate, articulate. We all use these words, but there is also one important word which we all use in our day-to-day -day life. Negotiate. Good evening, Toastmaster of the day, fellow Toastmasters and dear guests. How many of you think negotiation is very important part of our life? Or let me ask you all, what does negotiation means to you all? Any one or two can unmute and answer. Trying to put across a point and trying to get a consensus. 
with the other party thank you dt about so i personally feel negotiation is very important and we all do in our day to day life right from morning to evening for example in the morning when we go to buy a vegetable and if the vegetable cost is 120 rupees what we tell to the vegetable vendor bhaiya 100 rupees mein doge can you give the vegetable in 100 rupees so we all do negotiation in personal and professional life now there are different types of negotiation the forms can be a win win situation win lose situation or compromise with the situation now negotiation form varies as per the situation like two sides of the coin head and tail like every rose has its thorn now imagine tomorrow is the final day examination of your son and you want him to make study for the examination and on the other hand your son is not in a good mood or upset with something and he is not ready to study so what you can do offer him a chocolate making comfortable and get the task done now let me share two examples of mine now i work in the field of event vendor management and every day i deal with all types of vendor it's whether it's transport catering hospitality gifts awards and rewards i negotiate with each and every vendor in terms of quality product quantity and most important the price amount sometimes what happen even after a long discussion a negotiation vendor does not agree with the situation now 3 years ago i had i i had one vendor for a kids kaleidoscope event the vendor quoted 25000 rupees for eight children game stall so there i negotiated can you bring down the amount to 20 or 21000 for eight game stall after say 15 to 20 minutes of discussion the vendor was not ready to reduce the amount then finally i decided okay you don't reduce you don't reduce the amount but in the same invoice amount you arrange three more game stall for our event so to so to this situation the vendor agreed and it was a say compromise negotiation between both the parties and the second example i learned the art of negotiation through toastmasters how by speaking and listening so in toastmaster we learn the art of negotiation specially when you are a part of executive committee group where every day you have to deal answer the query of members and guest now every after the session is over our vp education sends the meeting invite roll link for next session but what we do we don't fill the form because we have the habit and tendency to trouble our vp education and at the last moment just one day before we send a message can i get a speech slot for tomorrow's meeting so when i was the vp education i faced this situation where just one day before the meeting i used to get nomination from member for speech slot now how i used to tackle me okay i will give you speech slot not for tomorrow but for next meeting but there is one condition the our counter has backed out 
or grammarian as a backdrop, will you do this role? So the member used to do the tag role and in next meeting, I used to give him the speech slot where again, we used to ne the negotiation used to be a compromise situation. So what I want to here convey is there are different forms of a negotiation, win-win, win-loss, com a compromise. But I personally feel compromise negotiation is beneficial, resilient, and relevant because it is helpful. And in this type of negotiation, both the parties are benefited. Thank you for two Toastmasters of the day. Ati, you're on mute. Thank you, Toastmaster Sai Kumar. A great round of virtual applause for Toastmaster Sai Kumar. Now, I would like to invite Timer, Toastmaster Sachin, to tell the timer's report. Over to you. Toastmaster Dheeraj is the timer. Yes, yes, I'm, I'm telling you. The speaker one, Toastmaster uh, Sunil, took uh, 5 minutes 34 seconds. Speaker two, Toastmaster Karpana, took 7 minutes 29 seconds. And speaker three, Toastmaster Sai Kumar, took 6 minutes 39 seconds. So all are qualified for voting. Thank you, Toastmaster Dheeraj. Dumaster, can we please launch the poll for the best speaker? Yes, I'll just launch the poll. Okay. I've launched the poll and I'm removing the co-host rights of Sachin and Dheera so that they can also vote. So we have two people remaining. Moving on with the story, the baby camel thought for a while and said, so we have homes to store water for desert journey, rounded hooves for a comfortable walk, and long eyelashes to protect us from sand and dust during a desert storm. Then, what are we doing in a zoo? Calf's question, what are we doing in a zoo? The mother was dumbfounded. She could not answer. Now, it's time to move on with our second session of the meeting that is table topic round. Guests are also encouraged to participate in table topics. It is an impromptu session in which speaker has to speak on the topic for one minute and not more than one minute. Table topic master for today's meeting is Toastmaster Dheeraj. I would like to invite table topic master Toastmaster Dheeraj. The stage is all yours. Thank you, Toastmaster of the day. Uh, good evening, fellow Toastmaster and the guest. I am Dheeraj Singh and the Table Topic Master for today's session. This is an impromptu speech session of Table Topic Meeting. And it is an interesting session which will hone your speaking, thinking, speech delivery, and organizing skill. Okay, so uh, uh, I will talk about the rules. So for Table Topic, the time allotted is one to two minutes. Uh, green screen will be shown after one minute, yellow after 1.5 minutes, and red after two minutes. A grace period of 30 seconds is given. Uh, to qualify for the vote, that is applicable. That is applicable after this uh, maximum qualifying time. Speaker has to speak uh, for a minimum of one minute to qualify for the vote. Everyone is requested to use the word of the day and the phrase of the day. I encourage members and the guests to volunteer for the sessions. So now let us begin up with the session. So uh, is there any guest with us? Okay. So uh, we will start with the guest. Is well, there any guest? Master. Okay. okay, so is there any uh, Toastmaster member who would like to volunteer? Okay, so we have Sunil Yadav. So Zoom Master, please spotlight Sunil Yadav. Let 
Let's have a quick audio video check, Sunil. Yeah, am I audible now? Uh, yeah, well? you are audible. And are you able to see the timer cards? Yes, I can. Okay, so the topic for you, Sunil, is most important skill. Toastmaster Sunil, the topic is most important skill. Over to you, Toastmaster Sunil. The most important skill is actually uh, the skill which you are using at the time uh, of the event very well going actually. So I can say that at different events, different kind of skills are required. Say, uh, say uh, in my initial career, when I was to go for the interviews, that time uh, uh, when the people st start asking the questions, sometimes you are not able to speak it actually properly. You're not even able to introduce myself basically. So that time that was a very important skill for me to at least say some good qualities about me, what I know and all those things. Then again, uh, when we actually, when I was in a college, even that time I was, I could not be able to speak or answer in English so that time. When teacher has to ask me to stand up and answer the question. So then uh, it was a very like a comic scene kind of thing. It happened many times that teacher had asked me some question and uh, I, I could not able to answer it. Actually, I could not able to speak. So she will asking me, uh, do you know the answer? I say, yes, I know. Tell me, no, I will not. So it was a lie of comedy that I know the answer, but I could not communicate to the class and to the teacher. So that time even I, I understand that he's speaking English, so communicating the things is a very important skill. So similarly at every event, uh, every incident or situation, uh, you determine which is the most important skills like uh, Sai Kumar actually got skills of negotiations. Uh, now it, that kind of skills I require to display every time when I meet the clients nowadays. So it depends on the situation, incidents and conditions. Thank you. What do you do? Okay, that was a wonderful speech, uh, uh, Sunit. And now let's move to the next topic. Uh, is there anyone from the volunteer? Would like to volunteer for session okay so we have uh, sachin and simpson so i will go with the sachin this time and the yes. next time uh, next will be simpson so i clap actually go with simpson <laughs> <laughs> okay so uh, can we have uh, simpson on the spotlight uh, yeah please sir. yeah please yeah okay so uh, are you able to see the timer card simpson yeah i'm able to see it okay so uh, let me okay so the topic for you is Simpson, how lucky you are. Oh, the topic great. is how lucky you are. Over to you, Simpson. Yeah. So uh, very good evening to all my uh, fellow Toastmasters. This is my first uh, appearance, and I would say first opportunity for me to be part of this uh, event. Uh, a note of thanks to my uh, very good friend, my ex colleague, Mr. Manak Manas Nayak, who has introduced me to this fabulous group. Uh, yes, uh, I've, I've been knowing him for last quite uh, quite number of years. Very cheerful guy, uh, guy full of you know enthusiasm and uh, very good thought process. So uh, yeah, uh, coming back to the main topic of you know how lucky you are. Uh, yes, uh, see the luck basically is as good as hard work. Okay, which I always keep on saying. I would like to share one experience before that. Uh, I was always used to think that you know uh, luck basically plays a major factor in your life. And I used to always have that kind of mindset. If you're lucky, you will be able to achieve or you will get whatever you want. But that stood corrected a few, a few years back. I was addressing my, uh, you know, I mean, I was handling a, a, a call center. I was heading the customer service and the part of the business. So I was explaining, uh, you know, the, the, the importance of luck and how it plays in, in your life. And I was saying, I was just trying to argue like luck is very important and all. My head service delivery gave me good pasting. He told me that boss, I mean, you are discouraging people everywhere. It is not about luck. It's all about your perception or efforts in life. So I took that from that particular place and I still believe, now I am, I'm believing that it is not only luck. It's about your vision, your hard work and your, 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 your process basically, which will determine your journey and your success in life. So for me, if you ask me how lucky I am, I am lucky to the extent how much effort I put in my life. Today, what, what level I have reached or in my personal life, professional life, is only because of my thought process. And for all of us, it is equally important to carry a positive outlook towards life. Luck is there. Luck and belief in God, 
support from everybody should be there but again your hard work is very important i would like to conclude from this point the it is showing red i'm sorry i might have taken some more time thank you all thank you that was a wonderful speech and i agree that we all are lucky until we figure it out so can we have any other when anyone as a volunteer can anyone help me out with this otherwise i will rope in someone else looking into the expression manas has been okay so manas is there okay manas i have are uh, sunil so... hojal should there na it's sorry sachin hojal should there na no sachin is not there he was talking okay. great okay so manas uh, let me share the screen for you is the screen visible to you timer yeah. cards right okay i have chosen a very good topic for you manas so the topic for you is prithvi akash ambani or abdul kalam the topic for you is prithvi akash ambani or abdul kalam so those who don't know who is prithvi akash ambani he is the grandson of mukesh ambani so again i repeat the topic manas prithvi akash ambani or abdul kalam it is very relevant to our toast master theme over to you toast master manas yeah very good evening to all fellow toast masters and guest it's a really good topic toast master so prithvi akash ambani or abdul kalam every person have their own persistence they have their success journey and they have their own luck and they have their own hard work it's not like that uh, um, our dhirubhai ambani live a lot of uh, wealthy for mukesh ambani and he enjoyed that it's not like that mukesh ambani also put lot of efforts to build his empire from 10x to 100x abdul kalam he is also in his own path and he also see lot of uh, you know Mm, uh, tragedies in their life and uh, he mm, came up from one like our uh, slum we can say, say that the slum mm, area slum society to the, our president india's president due to his uh, own you know directions own uh, decision so mukesh ambani also like uh, we cannot compare mukesh ambani and uh, anil ambani in that way because the all both the brothers father is one only dhirubhai ambani but uh, they have on their persistence and uh, you know as uh, like uh, our uh, every rose has uh, its own um, that smell so we cannot compare with uh, our uh, abdul kalam to our prithvi or akash sambani they have their own journey they have saw all the things and uh, if you saw that that prithvi uh, ambani lost lot of weights so he also got into into that phase to get the success you know he just uh, lost uh, something around 60 to 70 kg so he achieved that success what uh, we cannot compare that to from slum guy to our president so that uh, success is on own their own way that uh, we can say that it is uh, um, pertinent to their vision okay so i can wind up this session every rose has its own throne thank you thank you over to you okay that was a wonderful speech manas and i agree that both were lucky but uh, only one was able to successful because of the skills uh is there anyone who would like to come as a volunteer okay so let me uh, okay kalpana is there yeah kalpana so kalpana um, uh, let's have a quick audio video check yeah hi hi and uh, are you able to see the timer cards uh yes i can okay so the topic for you kalpana is overcome hard work overcome hard luck with hard work the topic is overcome hard luck with hard work over to you to master kalpana thank you table topic master deeraj for this topic overcome hard luck with hard work 
if I turn that into an equation, you know, if I cancel out luck and work, just the hard remains, which means whether we are lucky or not, without hard work, you are not going to reach your destination. Once you reach your destination, your hard work actually generates luck because lady luck begins to smile on you. But it is very hard to make the lady luck smile at you because lady luck is very, very juicy when it comes to bestowing her blessings on anybody. There are times when you work so hard that you want to actually give up and then you start thinking about some positive thoughts and then you start thinking, okay, let me still tell the lady luck, come on lady luck, please smile on me, please bestow your blessings on me, I am working hard, you too work hard. So I would request the lady luck to also work hard because hard work will actually ensure that my hard luck gets lucky enough to assist me and push me and propel me towards the success. Yes, hard work and hard luck. But I can achieve it by actually, like Sai Kumar said, negotiating with the lady luck, asking her to bestow me with all her showerings of love and blessings. That is how I have reached this far. I have always, always been there, boot polishing the lady luck and not telling her, you are the most wonderful person. Help me win everything in Toastmasters, especially when it's coming to the humorous speech. Please, 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 please. I am working hard. You too work hard. So hard work, luck and skill. When it combines together, we reach the pinnacle of success. Thank you. Over to you, Table Topic Master Deeraj. Thank you, uh, Toastmaster Kalpana, for this wonderful speech. Uh, do we have any other volunteer? Okay, Charu is there. Oh, Charu is clapping. Okay, so as we do not have any more volunteers, I conclude this session. And as I am the timer for this uh, session, I will be presenting the timing report. Uh, Toastmaster Sunil uh, took uh, 1 minute 36 seconds. Uh, then we have a guest, Simpson, who took uh, 2 minutes 14 seconds. Then the time Toastmaster Manas took 2 minutes 30 seconds. And the last Toastmaster Kalpana took 2 minutes 10 seconds. So all are eligible for this voting. I hand over this stage to the Toastmaster of the day. Thank you. Over to you, Toastmaster. Thank you, Toastmaster Tiraj. It was an interesting session. Now the mother could not answer the question, what are we doing in a zoo? The moral is your strengths, skills, and knowledge are useless. If you are not in the right place at the right time with the right people. Now, tell me, are you all lucky and skillful? Yes, you all are lucky for being at the right place at the right time with the right people. Luck and skill are two sides of the same coin and hard work is the coin itself. Coin when flipped sometimes shows skill, sometimes luck. It's only when it stands on the rim like movie, trolley, the game is set. So it's not luck versus skill, it's luck plus skill. Now, I would like to uh, hand over the mic, to hand over the virtual stage to general evaluator, Toastmaster Santos. The stage is all yours. Thank you. Thank you so much, Toastmaster of the day, Toastmaster RP. Hi, everyone. Welcome to the general evaluation round. As I have explained earlier, this round is divided into three important parts. Part number one is the evaluation of the individual speeches. Part number two is the report from the timer, our counter and the grammarian. And final, I'll be giving my own evaluation of the entire conduct of the meeting. Without wasting any time, let us move into the first part of our general evaluation, which is the individual speeches evaluation. We had our speaker one, Toastmaster Sunil, delivering a speech. And to evaluate that speech, we have Toastmaster Manas, 
who will be providing the evaluation i welcome toast master manas yeah thank you thank you general evaluator Just am i audible uh, yes you are audible may I request the timer to share the timing card Yeah, it's now visible. Thank you so much. Could you see the timer card? So may I start now? Yes, I'll introduce yeah. you. Yeah, I am busy. Toastmaster Manav. Sorry, Toastmaster Manas. Evaluator one, evaluator one, Toastmaster Manas. Yeah, thank you, thank you, General Evaluator. Hi everyone. Hi Sunil. One philosopher once very rightly said. a journey of 1000 miles must begin with a single step so first i like to congratulate you to master sunil on taking your first big step you can say that as a successful coach i also strongly believe that you yes. only yourself the person who need to take a step ahead to get the success so that universe uh, will help you to take another step so congratulations once again to mr sunil for your strong baby step when i heard your speech title i cannot digest that time i thought every rose has its own throat because i i always believe that people need to enjoy their journey to achieve their goal but you crafted your speech so well that i realize no a person can also enjoy the grinding process to 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 get the success that you failed a lot of times but still you didn't quit and it shows your personality and also it shows your success story your speech was enjoyable i liked it especially how you began with the book name and then slowly goes to your past i could totally relate to that as you know i too lost a lot of my success, uh, in my success journey but i gained lot of experience against that loss so what i like in your speech that uh, you try to start with a powerful technique to ease the audience you know into listening to you and staying with the, your thought process throughout the speech you made a few pertinent points to all successful people well done with that so uh, i can say that uh, uh, you are i like your storytelling methodology so ladies and gentlemen when toastmaster sunil shared his success stories he trying to point out what he reached how he reached at this point so when he does this he brought us all of us on a journey as every rose has its own throne but more importantly toastmaster sunil when you did this you brought yourself closer to all of us and included us in all your speech great job you are putting your best and try to touch human bonding emotions overall your speech is blessing of all fellows so like all speeches always have some scope of improvement i have a few points so you can you, you dramatic uh, pause you can you know voice modulations but i love your speech all the best to you thank you thank you general evaluator thank you thank, thank you thank you thank you so much toastmaster manas now we had the second speaker toastmaster kalpana and to evaluate this speech we have distinguished toastmaster ankit am i audible yes you are audible can you see the timer card yes okay evaluator number 2 ankit ankit evaluator number 2 today while setting my table for this meeting i'm i've shifted to a new house so setting my table my mom comes in and says ankit don't sit in this way you're facing the south Sit in this way, you'll face the north, and that is better. Those masters and guests, haven't we all come across these kind of things from our mother or our relations? 
or even a family. This is the Indian culture. And today, I had a wonderful speech on the Indian culture by our Toastmaster Kalpana. Toastmaster Kalpana, a beautiful speech which had all the ingredients that are needed for a good speech. Let me start with the first point, attention. You grabbed my attention by giving an incident, a very pertinent incident about a mother asking her daughter to get married. And that connected me very well with your speech from the start itself. So beautiful work done there. Second part that I loved about your speech, Toastmaster Kalpana, was the structure. You started with the culture aspect, then you went on to the religion, then you went to the science, then you went to other cultures, and at the end, you said about what can be improved in our culture. Wow, that was a wholesome structure, and I really loved the way you have structured your speech. So kudos on that. The next point that I loved about your speech were your personal examples. Personal examples connect very well with each one of us because we are able to relate to it. And you had personal examples, a plethora of them with your mother and your grandfather. So not only were the personal examples, but there was also characters in your speech, your mother and your grandfather. The next part that I loved about your speech and Toastmaster Kalpana, you're very good at that, is the body language. Thanks for standing up and giving this speech. You also use different kind of body languages wherein you chanted the Ganpati uh, a mantra, then you put the uh, coconut on the ground. So all those kind of different body languages was, was very well done. So kudos on that. The next part that I loved about your speech was the voice modulation. Whenever you're switching from your own character to your mother's or your grandfather, you had a different voice modulation and different voice tone. So that was another beautiful thing done. So overall, a wonderful speech, which had all the ingredients that are needed for a good speech. But every Rose Toastmaster Kalpana has a thorn. What, are, what is that which can be improved in your speech? Let me tell you. The first one, although we had a good character building, characters were there, but there was a problem with character building. What I mean by that is that you could have explained or given a description about your mother and a description about your grandfather. That could have been done beautifully so that we can connect with them better. The second one was the structure. Although the structure was beautifully made, but there was too much into the structure. Too many cooks spoil the brute. And that is why I felt you just did on time, 7.29. I felt that maybe you have removed one point, it would have been better. The third point was that you are moving back and forth in the speech. That could have been stopped and you could have been stationary or moving at the side. Overall, a wonderful speech which had attention, structure, personal examples, body language and voice modulation. Just work on character building, structure and back and forth movement. And overall, it will be a beautiful speech. All the best for your further speeches, to Master Kalpana. Thank you and over to you. Thank you so much, distinguished Toastmaster Ankit. Now we have our third speaker who has Sai Kumar Ayer. And to evaluate the speech, we have distinguished Toastmaster Subramanian. Thank you so much, uh, distinguished Toastmaster Santosh. If you master the art of negotiation, your skill can definitely bring in luck and it can become part of your life. That is what was depicted by our speaker Toastmaster Sai Kumar. There were three different points that really stood out in her speech, I felt. First is the vivid and descriptive content. Throughout his speech, it was filled in with contingencies. First, when he spoke about, where uh, he described about going to a vegetable shop and instead of 150 rupees, you negotiated for 100 rupees. Then he brought up scenarios, how you can negotiate with your kid who is not studying with offering chocolates or some other means. And then he shifted to two real life incidents that I thoroughly enjoyed. The second important point that stood out in his speech, I felt, was the personalization of the content. What can stand beyond the personalizing the st with personalized stories? He was, uh, he was bang on on that. The first is the audience connect, I felt. Though he had two different life incidents, I was able to relate as part of both the incidents. First, in terms of children's program, kaleidoscope program, I felt as if I, I am the person who, who had given that 25,000 rupees and he's offering me even more with his negotiation skills. And definitely, yes, Vice President Education, the negotiation skills, I was able to agree uh, since I have played the, even if I haven't played the role of Vice President Education, definitely I, was, I would have been able to agree on that point. 
and the um, the analogies that he has used throughout his speech like the rose has you know uh, a coin has two sides rose has its own thorn all those analogies were completely supporting the stories and the evidence that he has presented the third important point that stood out in his speech is his per- personality depiction in his speech the way he appeared smart while explaining the incidents and the hand gestures were very appropriate the audience interaction when he started and he waited gave a pause as uh, gave sufficient time for the audience member to present his or her answer and he also acknowledged dtm ankit for his answers those were all the job well done if i have to negotiate i would like to present two aspects that you can try and i feel it would benefit you the first one is the conclusion part i felt it came a bit faster you had a beautiful introduction with three uh, with the triads bifurcate terminate and articulate and you you ended up you con- you connected with the word negotiate what i felt was if you could have explained a bit about these points for example in case if you bifurcate somebody's thoughts that time itself the 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 conversation would terminate and if you articulate better and negotiate better you would be able to achieve and that could become part of your life by connecting with your title as well and the second point that you could try to improve upon is to avoid disclaimers and try for expressions for example you need not specify explicitly let me share you two examples first example second example that could be better managed with the transition overall it was a wonderful speech with vivid and descriptive content personalized stories and also your exhibiting personality beautiful exhibition of your personality with just a uh, 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 your prolonged conclusion i think this would become even a better speech over to you distinguished host master santosh thank you so much distinguished host master subramanian now we are done with the three evaluations may i request the timer host master dheeraj to please give the timing report for the three evaluations so evaluator 1 toastmaster manas took 3 minutes 11 second uh, evaluator 2 toastmaster ankit took 3 minute 23 second and evaluator 3 toastmaster subramanian took 3 uh, minutes 29 seconds so all are eligible for voting over to you general evaluator thank you thank you so much toastmaster dheeraj now may i request the zoom master to launch polls for both the table topics and evaluation sessions i could see the evaluation poll yes i can see the table topics poll as well thank you so much as we are voting on the poll may i request the a counter for the meeting toastmaster sachin to provide the report thank you so much general evaluator uh, akit can you please make me co-host i have to share my screen yeah thank you yeah so ankit has used uh, one repetition of the word other and arti has used two a uh, hiras has used three as charu was flawless sunil has used one a uh, one a uh, one er uh, and nine use of the word actually not you know actually he has used a word a lot kalpana has used uh, two times you know and one unintentional pause was there sai kumar has used one repetition of the word dheeraj has used one and sunil has used two filler word a uh, uh, during uh, table topic session and two uh, times actually word he has used and uh, simson has used one a uh, three a uh, uh, six a uh, uh three times use of the word uh, filler word so and three times you know word uh manas has used four times um and one time so words 
Kalpana was flawless uh, during uh, table topic session. Manas has used two R and one uh, filler word uh, so during evaluation and one repetition of the word. That is I, I. And Ankit has used one R and one repetition of the word. And Subramaniam has used two R and four R that comes uh, at, at once. So that is the overall report. And uh, this is the final uh, by adding all of the lexical fillers and unlexical fillers. This is the graph we are getting. So we can see that uh, we have used a lot of you know or the actually word a lot and the er word we have used a lot. So we have to work on that. Thank you. And over to you, general evaluator. Thank you so much, Toshmaster Sachin. Now I welcome our. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Sachin. Now I welcome the grammarian for the meeting, Toastmaster Charu, to provide the report. Thank you, General Evaluator. Hello, everyone. I'll start with word of the day and phrase of the day. So the word of the day was used by Toastmaster Sunil, Toastmaster Sai Kumar, Toastmaster Manas, and Toastmaster Ankit. <clears throat> the phrase of the day was used by Toastmaster Sai Kumar. We did hear a few interesting phrases today. Uh, first one is taste of success, melting pot, lady luck, baby steps, too many cooks, spoil the broth, and two sides of the coin. A few interesting words and advanced vocabulary was used by the speakers. First one is vernacular. Uh, it means the language or dialect spoken by the ordinary people in a particular region or country. The second word is venture. It means a risky or daring journey or understanding or undertaking. Um, yes, that will be all. I have a couple of suggestions. Uh, instead of overusing the word again, uh, one can say I restarted my job or I resumed my job or, or any other task which you have resumed. Uh, instead of saying thinking back and going back, you one can use the word retrospection or introspection. So yes, general evaluator, that will be all from my end. Thank you. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Charu. Now it is time for me to provide the overall report for this meeting. The meeting host and the tech master distinguished host master ankit has opened the meeting well in advance and has ensured that all the role players technical settings are in place and at times when speakers got muted he ensured that he unmuted them and used the spotlight at every point in time that is a great job done there thank you so much and again ankit as the sergeant at arms has explained the uh, the ground rules for this meeting in a very good way and also uh, made sure that meeting kick started on time and also it is running on time as of now. Coming to our presiding officer, Toastmaster Sachin, you have narrated a very beautiful personal story and connected that with the theme. And also you ensured that the meeting started with that good story and you welcomed the guests and also made sure that you encouraged everyone to be a part of this meeting. And then coming to our Toastmaster of the day, Toastmaster Arthi, you took a wonderful theme and uh, something that I loved about this theme is that it is a continuous story which was being weaved and beautifully narrated till the end of the meeting. <laughs> and also, uh, even though you got muted right at the start of this meeting, you have ensured that you picked up in a very confident way and you continued with your theme. That is something I also loved about this the Toastmaster of the day has also used the introducing convention that is name, title, title, name format. That was very impressive thing to me. If I can uh, give a couple of improvement points, they would be when you're introducing a speaker, try not to reveal the name of the speaker until the end moment. For example, when you're saying the table topics master Thiraj, you can probably give an introduction Thiraj is there is an ex there is a person this speaker is that this speaker is this and then you can say please invite the speaker name so that uh, will be helping 
and then when you have opened the meeting i felt that you directly jumped into the business part of the meeting by explaining the structure of the meeting you can initially build some rapport with the audience and explain the theme and then jump into the business part of the meeting having said that you have done a great job today i have really enjoyed being an audience in your meeting thank you so much arthi now coming to the timer timer biraj you have been honing multiple hats today and you have done a great job with that while showing the timing and noting the timer report and sharing the timer card if i have one recommendation to you that would be while you are explaining your role initially try to show and share the screen and show and demonstrate it uh, that will be very useful for the audience coming to the accounter toastmaster sachin you have done a great job the, the graph thing is something very unique that i have seen today it is uh, very well done and you have done a great job one recommendation small one if i would make that would be you have used the word flawless probably you may avoid using that word because ideally no speaker is flawless you may say i don't find any observations and that will be useful great job done by both the timer dheeraj and accounter sachin now moving on to our grammarian toastmaster charu you have done a great job i don't have any recommendations to you if i have a small addition that would be you can encourage the audience members to show a virtual thumbs up uh, whenever the speakers are using word of the day or phrase of the day that is what we use at our home club so i am trying to emulate or uh, introduce that idea to you guys that is up to you again now coming to our table topics master dheeraj you have ensured that you have uh, an engaging topics and you ensured that you, the topics are in line with the theme one thing i can say is that it is not necessary that they are in line with the theme you can either use a different topic as well uh, a mix of topics some aligned with the theme some not aligned with the theme like that that will be helpful and uh, the table topics master ensured that he explained the four important skills that are built by being in the table topic session and then uh if there is one point of improvement that would be that you said it is speaking thinking uh, but the one of the skills the first skill is listening thinking organizing and then delivering that one you can correct and then i would encourage you to encourage all the table topic speakers to use the word of the day and phrase of the day that can be reiterated so that the speakers can use them whenever it is needed and then at some places i found that the name topic topic name convention is not followed while uh, for other speakers it is followed for two speakers it is not followed you can just take care of that having said that you have done a great job dheeraj as a table topics master and also by honing multiple hats as timer and table topics master at the same time great now coming to the speakers prepared speakers has done a great job every speech is definitely uh, enthralling and also giving me a kind of an learning lesson in all the speeches if i have to say something i felt that at some places the speeches went a bit uh, over uh, overhead and uh, they were uh, i don't feel but they may be definitely hurting the sentiments of some audience so in such cases such sensitive topics can be handled in a bit better way but that is fine but however if that can be done that will be useful and for speaker one and evaluator one sunil and manas i did not find uh, the evaluator mentioning the pathway name if that pathway name can also be mentioned it will be useful i hope that you the speaker and the evaluator have connected uh, before the session yeah if that is done that is fine the the important point is just to connect not to mention the pathway name but of course mentioning that will be no harm evaluators have followed the sandwich technique of evaluation that is comment recommend and then comment great job done there overall this has been a fantastic meeting one thing that i would like to again reiterate is the metal with which toastmasters movement goes on this is understood that it is the festival season but still the meeting has been run and there is uh, no going back and the show must go on attitude is still there and yeah this has been a great meeting i really enjoyed being a part of this meeting thank you so much this brings me to the end of my general evaluation session and i'll give back the virtual stage to the toastmaster of the day arthi thank you general evaluator thank you general evaluator
it was a detailed it was a detailed uh, evaluation now uh, i would like to share one another story a giant ship uh, a giant ship engine failed the ship's owners tried one expert one expert after another but none of them could fix but how to fix uh, fix but how to fix the engine then they brought in an old man who had been fixing ships since he was a young he carried a large bag of tools with him and when he arrived he immediately went to work he inspected the engine engine very carefully talked to boat two of the ship's owners were there watching this man hoping he would know what to do after looking things over the old man reached into his bag and pulled out a small hammer he gently uh, tapped something instantly the engine lurched into life he carefully uh, put his hammer away and the engine was fixed a week later the owner received a bill from the old man for 10000 dollars what the owners exclaimed he hardly did anything so they wrote the old man a note saying please send us an uh, itemized bill now uh, this man hoping he would know what to do after knowing uh, things over the old man read oh sorry uh, that shows that your skill with your skill you can acquire whatever you want and uh, the he said that one rupees he said that it is for my skill that i am demanding this much money thank you over to you presiding officer thank you so much trust master of the day arti for such a wonderful story yes really it's a skill we keep honing our skills and that's the thing for which we are we get paid finally right so it's not the time because if we have more skill we get we can do some tasks in one minute but if not then it can take several days thank you uh so it's time for taking a photograph please, uh, everyone please turn on your cameras uh kalpana sai kumar heeraj okay Okay, okay. Yes. Cheers. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. I've taken it. Uh, Ankit, can you launch the poll for auxiliary and auxiliary role player? Yes, we we'll do that. Best auxiliary role player as well as best role player. please remove me from co-host thank you thank you so much and now best role player Has everyone voted for this auxiliary role player? Meanwhile, uh, Simpson. Some... Yeah, yeah. No issues. No issues. Uh, meanwhile, Simpson. Hello. Ah, uh, yes, Sachin. Yeah. Can you tell me about means yourself? How means? Uh, I did you enjoy the meeting and how was your experience? Uh, thank you, Sachin uh, Toastmaster. So it was a good uh, opportunity for me to getting introduced to all of you. It felt very nice. It felt very nice. Uh, I was in my previous uh, speech. I had told. I mean, I was referred by Mr. Manas Nayak. So I, uh, I'm definitely feeling the. 
the kind of talent and the kind of you know teachers speakers who are part of this uh, uh, this group they are they are actually awesome so i could understand i could actually relate to many of the topics which were been discussed uh, one on one on the uh, procurement part which was been done i'm sorry i will i could not uh, recollect every every person's name so but again it was i mean very nice even mr das gupta was there uh, he was also wonderful uh, all of you guys even mr subramanyam i mean very technical very sound precise uh, precisely he has put across the points and all uh, i would take one more lady's name i'm sorry uh, um, let me check because you know i mean from new to this <laughs> so i'm sorry the lady is not there right now i would or else i would have taken the name she was also very much you know vibrant when she was speaking so all of you guys are terrific i mean i would like to be part of this more i would to be like to be invited more on this so that i can also learn from you all and maybe i can share few of my experiences so thank you all yeah sure sure samson we are looking forward so that you join our meeting and our club also and you will learn a lot uh, it's a continuous learning right yeah uh, the long polls have been launched for best role player please vote Okay. Uh, poll completed. Everyone has voted, right? So we have to launch certificates. Uh, Ankit, if you're ready, we can launch it. And thank you. Uh, General Evaluator Santosh, I have seen your uh, international speech contest where you have won that thing. So I was there as a, I think Zoom master. Yeah, I was there as Zoom master. So I've seen that uh, your performance, your uh, interaction between the mother and the child, and you are just continu continuously exchanging your position as a mother and the child. I think there was a conversation between two. I didn't remember it completely, but it was phenomenal. Means it was very good. Thanks. Yeah, and thank you for joining a. Uh, Today in our meeting, it was uh, it was a very good evaluation actually. Yeah. Okay, so certificates are ready. So first one is icebreaker speech, and Sunil Yadav, Toastmaster Sunil, has won the icebreaker speech. He has given his first icebreaker speech. Congratulations, Sunil. Thank you. Thank you. I'll take this one shot. Okay. Next award is best table topic speaker, and that goes to Ankit. Please change the slide. Hello, Ankit. Hello, Ankit is not there. Right? Yeah, best table topic. Okay, so best table topic has been won by Toastmaster Kalpana. So she is not there. I'll attach a photo in the certificate. Congratulations to her. Next award is best of the role player. Goes to me, okay. Thank you, but I myself not voted for myself. <laughs> That's it. Thank you so much. And the next uh, award goes to the role player. Best role player is Santosh and uh, distinct Toastmaster Santosh as well as Toastmaster Arti. It's a tie. Congratulations to you both. I'll take a screenshot. Thank you. Sachin, did yes. you take your screenshot? Uh, I'll add it. No worries. Okay. Next is the best speaker. Okay, that's also Kalpana. Congratulations to her. 
And the last one, last but not the least, the best evaluator award goes to Ankit. Great. Congratulations, Ankit. Uh, please put yourself on spotlight. Uh, yeah, I'll take this screenshot. Great, great. Congratulations once again. Thank you so much. Thank you. So our next meeting uh, is on 19th of September, and that is the contest actually. That is the uh, evaluation contest as well as the humorous speech contest. So I have given out the forms. Uh, most of the people have filled it. So those who have not filled it yet and uh, want to take any other roles, so there is a space left. Yeah, he or she can choose that thing. Okay, and also uh, we have our renewals going on. So I request everyone to renew yourself. Uh, you can contact uh, our Sajit at Arms Dheeraj. Uh, he will help you in renewing uh, the membership to our club. Thank you so much. And I officially close the meeting here. We can stop the recording. <laughs>